So these here are moving sand grains, but why are they moving? Okay, well, it's because microorganisms in the sand uh, push and pull on the individual sand grains and this causes them to shake and to wiggle around. Well, hello and welcome Microbe Hunter here today again. And in this video, we're going to have a closer look at uh, some microorganisms that are found in the so-called interstitial spaces uh, of sand. And uh, these are the small spaces that can be found between the sand grains. And these interstitial spaces serve as a habitat for countless microorganisms. And uh, these microorganisms, of course, they keep the ecosystem healthy. Uh, these microbes are also responsible for cleaning the water by breaking down waste products. And uh, as you can, as we're going to see, um, I, it turned out there were also plenty of diatoms uh, present in the sand sample as well. Now the whole story started out a few months ago when I visited the North Sea in Germany and uh, this is the place where I collected a, a sample of sand. I kept this sample on my windowsill. Um, yeah, I almost forgot about it but just recently I decided to take a closer look at it under the microscope and at first glance uh, yeah, the sample did appear to be rather unremarkable and a little bit disappointing because well at first sight, I did not see any microorganisms. But upon closer inspection, I did notice uh, a lot of movement under time lapse. Uh, so the movement was well visible also under higher magnification. And uh, this was caused by the microorganisms, in this case, uh, the diatoms um, in the interstitial spaces to push and pull on the sand grains. Now, uh, there were many diatoms in the sample and uh, these diatoms are single-celled algae that produce a significant amount of oxygen on Earth. They are also capable of photosynthesis and they have a unique shell made of silica or glass. However, um, it wasn't easy to find individual diatom cells in the sand sample because most of them were next to a surface or bound to a surface like the sand grains or some of them were even clumped together. But after some searching, I was a little bit lucky and I did find a lonely diatom gliding around on my microscope slide. Now, while digging in the sand, uh, I also stumbled upon a fascinating creature. This is a so-called a lugworm. And these worms are known to feed on the sand and their microorganisms that live within the interstitial spaces. They, what they do is, is they ingest the sand um, and then they digest the sand um, as it passes uh, through the digestive system and uh, in the process they're digesting and removing the microorganisms. They are leaving behind the castings uh, which are small bale shaped piles of sand that are excreted uh, on the surface of the sand. And now these castings, they are quite important because uh, they promote uh, air, um, they aerate the sand and they promote the growth of beneficial aerobic bacteria and microorganisms that live within the interstitial spaces. Well, in essence, the lugworms, they play a vital role in the health of the intertidal zone by breaking down and recycling organic matter. Um, yeah, this way creating also a more hospitable environment uh, for other organisms to live. And the tiny organisms of the interstitial spaces, they might be quite small, but they play a crucial role in the ecosystem by keeping it healthy and balanced, and of course also by serving as a food for those lugworms. Well, in closing, I hope uh, that you found this glimpse into the interstitial spaces of sand and uh, the microorganisms that inhabit them as fascinating as I did. It never ceases to amaze me how the microscopic world can hold so much uh, wonder and complexity. I would like uh, to say thank you for joining me on this uh, exploration with my microscope. And uh, I hope uh, that you're going to join me again in the future um, yeah, when I'm sharing with you fascinating insights. And until next time, I wish you all the best. A happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.